In my work leading custom AI integrations, one of the things I love doing day to day is studying what is possible in the land of generative AI. Can I tell you why I'm so pumped about VideoGen right now? Because everything you're seeing in this video is generated by Google's VO2. Let me tell you, after analyzing all the footage and tests from early access creators, this is absolutely crushing everything else out there. Videogen is just getting better and better. The line between reality and imagination just got a lot thinner. I've been watching every single test, every prompt result, and diving deep into what this means for us in the work we do. And I believe Google's DeepMind team has done it yet again. VO is going to change everything about how we create content. Let's break down why VO2 is such a massive game changer. First, it's giving us native 4K output. You know what that means? No more running your clips through any upscalers. This is huge for quality. Second, the physics. Finally, AI that understands how things should actually move. No more weird glitchy movements that look like they're from a horror movie or gymnasts that lose a leg or grow an arm. Third, and this is what gets me really excited, it actually follows your prompts. I mean, how wild is that? When you ask for something specific, you actually get what you asked for. I know when something's about to revolutionize our industry. Remember when I sold my 100-person incredibly profitable writing agency because I saw AI coming? Everyone thought I was crazy. Well, this is another one of those moments. Think about what generative AI this good at generating lifelike content means for your business. Product demos that look incredible without costing anything more than a prompt and uploading your product image. Social content that stops the scroll generated in seconds on the fly. Client presentations that blow minds, but you didn't even have to film yourself. Prototype videos that look like they cost thousands. These are some of the things we're working on in our custom AI integration solutions for clients at First Movers that delight me to no end. But you know what excites me the most? This isn't just about making pretty videos. This is about automating everything that used to take hours or days. It's about scaling your content in ways we never thought possible. In our work helping businesses that lead their space become first movers, we look at every aspect of their business, from marketing to ops to sales, and create bots that touch everything, creating incredible efficiencies that can rise to a 50x increase in efficiency gains to that business. The sky is the limit, and it's incredible. And it's about taking one person who can critically think and who enjoys creating, but maybe doesn't know how to show up on camera or doesn't have the budget for an entire Hollywood production, but has a mind that's more creative than all of Hollywood. They can beat out the big guys now in seconds with tools like Sora. Imagine creating a blockbuster movie with no budget, no actors in a single weekend. Now, is it perfect? No. The early tests show some limitations with no built-in editing interface yet, limited sequence length, and some occasional quirks. But here's what I've learned from my hands-on work, building out generative AI deliverables for our full-service integrations at First Movers. These limitations, they're temporary. The progress curve is exponential. And as you know, Google often makes their marketing look a heck of a lot better than the end product delivers. We've got to address that. But we are seeing actual reviews from real creatives using it that are honestly blowing me away. Check out this review from Tim from Theoretically Media who got hands-on with Google VO. So first off, the UI is very reminiscent of Imagen, uh, Google's AI image generator, which just updated to a version three. We're gonna take a look a little bit at that in just a minute. We have options for text to video and text to image to video, which I'll explain in just a little bit. But really, that's kind of about it. We'll start off with our man in a blue business suit. Last we saw him, he was uh, hopping on an airplane. We know where he was going. so. Let's go check in on him. 
Well, that's not good. It appears as if our man in blue business suit's plane has gone down and he is now trapped on some mysterious tropical island that is definitely not the island from Lost. Overall, yeah, I mean, this was one of my first generations and I found this absolutely stunning. Lots of details in here that I did not prompt for, uh, including the fact that our blue business suit is ripped up. Um, our guy's got a little bit of a blood stain on his blue shirt there. Really nice camera movement with the tracking in. Uh, the location looks actually pretty realistic. Maybe minus the fact that the airplane itself does look like it was not a recent crash that looks like it has been here a while. Now, was that a cherry picked example? Yes, of course it was. But here's what's kind of cool is that for every prompt you run, you actually end up with four generations. I actually lost the original one that we were just looking at. Again, this is early access and currently at least nothing is saving to any library. So if I forget to download something or rerun it, it's gone forever. Just to showcase what we got on a rerun here, here is our first example. Pretty solid output as well. Just to me, not quite as compelling as you know the one that I showcased at the top. Another example, uh, you know, a decent shot, but not a lot is happening here. Our third one has some very nice emoting from our man in a blue business suit. Um, yeah, nothing necessarily wrong with this output. And our fourth output showcases a very shell-shocked man in a blue business suit. Not gonna lie, uh, that's probably a lot what I would look like. And now I really want to blow your mind. Here's an entire two minute movie that is extremely high quality at the level of Hollywood production studios. My mind was blown with this one. If you ask me, can movies be made by AI? We're basically there now. Every shot in this movie I'm about to show you called The Heist was created with Google Veo 2's text to video AI made by Jason Zada on Instagram. No cameras, no sets, just words turned into film. Jason Zada handled the sound, editing, and music, but the visuals, pure AI, enjoy. Looks like we got a new king of video. Check out this clip on Instagram from Evolving AI of just how much better Google VO2 is than Runway or even Sora. It's the age of the creatives and the content creator. They are equipped beyond belief with these AI tools to become grandmasters of entire productions in minutes. I'd say we're on the brink of AI-made movies becoming the norm with how good Google Veo 2 is. Think about it. Storyboards to screen without ever picking up a camera. Expensive Hollywood actors and producers. You nervous yet? If you want to stay ahead of this AI revolution, and trust me, in the age of AGI, it could be the best thing you do. Hit subscribe. I'm going deep into all the AI tools reshaping our industry. Check out First Movers to book a free discovery analysis and see how we can help you gain First Movers advantage in your industry. Finally, drop a comment. Let me know what excites you most about Veo2. Listen, 
The future of content creation isn't coming, it's here. And the folks who adapt first, who become first movers, they're going to win big. If you want to work with my high-end AI integrations team on streamlining your entire business, go to firstmovers.ai to learn more. We build end-to-end -end seamless AI integrations that 25x your workflow. I'm Julia McCoy, and I'll see you down the next AI rabbit hole.